So this is a reminder to you. We have been having very serious uh, rains all over the country, uh, which has been affecting us. As I told you that uh, during the rainy season, we are highly affected. We, the goat uh, farmers, mostly. And actually not only the, the goats, but also the cows, because you find a lot of issues with um, um, foot roads, uh, worms are very many, trypanosomiasis is so much, so basically, we, we don't do very well during that period. And I do think that as time goes on, we shall be able at least to um, be ready for that kind of time. And we shall be reserving our pastures during that period of the rainy season. I think that's where we are going. So it's that we can contribute by ourselves, contribute the dry matter in the mills uh, during that time. But... Uh, since we've been having a lot of trouble, like worms and everything, now that we are leaving um, the, the period of the rainy season, we are entering the period of the dry spell. What do you have to do? We don't do worms during the dry spell. Remember, the worms are always very tolerant to the drug during that dry spell. So this is the right time that we are supposed to do worms. We are supposed to vaccinate all our animals. Remember. Uh, in this period, if you are doing um, deworming, you depend on the way how your animals are looking. If they are very weak and are very cachetic, you don't need to use the, the dewormers that really cause a lot of diarrhea. Uh, you better use a dewormer that doesn't cause that much diarrhea, like albendazotin, like injectable dewormers, that kind of stuff. So with a vaccine, we have to vaccinate in this period so that... By the time we go in a dry spell, the animal is healthy and it doesn't affect them. If you don't work on them right now, you will not do one during that heavy or, or that serious dry spell. And two, uh, the diseases will affect you, though we do expect uh, just very uh, minimal, uh, minimal number of, uh, of diseases in a dry spell. So basically, that's it. Me, I'm just reminding you that in this period, I do expect... I do expect all the farmers, at least by now, to be deworming, to be starting the vaccination of the six months. Remember I told you that we do vaccinate goats twice in a year. But time will reach when we don't have a lot of diseases all over the country and uh, we shall only be vaccinating once in a year. So basically this is what I've been doing here. So with this issue, I have dewormed. I have vaccinated for PPR, so I'll come back for CCPP, I'll come back for Pro Studios, or most of the time I first uh, give Brucella and then finally I give uh, Pro Studio. Because Brucella, um, because Brucella actually, I, I do it faster just because the animals are getting pregnant. So if you first do Pro Studios, when the animals have not gotten pregnant, and then later, you do a uh, brucella when the animals are pregnant. Sometimes it, it disorganizes them. So it's better you do brucella faster, and then you do close studios at the end when they are heavily pregnant. Remember, close studios help us to transfer the immunity of the close studio diseases to the babies. So if you vaccinate earlier than the animal getting pregnant, it will help you, but not that much. But if you vaccinate when the animal is already pregnant, and uh, it's in, let's say, in the three months or four months it can really help you so much just because the baby is already there and it will just get the uh, immunity but now if you vaccinate it before the goat get pregnant so you might see that the um, antibodies of the closed studios should have lowered but if you vaccinate it when the baby is already in the antibodies will be transferred to the baby and you will have very healthy and beautiful babies thank you very much i think let me wish you the best uh Hope to see you in the next episode.